So let's begin. First, you need to fill in the config.ini file with paths in your system. Please consult the readme file as it is specific for each machine. In my case, I'm just copying and pasting it from the config example.ini file, which already has parameters for my machine. You will only need to do this the first time you use this tool. Consult the readme file about which paths you need to fill here. Here I am starting the tool and filling in all the fields. I select the folder with several reels to process them all. It is possible to select just a single reel. I select the output path. I can leave it empty, and in this case panoramas will be rendered inside each reel folder. Here I select a calibration template, which is most suited for the camera. For most users, you will only have one calibration template on your computer, supplied to you by Mosaic, which is particular to your camera. By default, the application loads the calibration template set in the config.ini file. I skipped selecting the starting and ending rendering frame, so all reels will be processed from the beginning until the end. If you wish to only render a certain portion of the reel, you can do so by indicating the starting and ending frame. I leave all default check marks because I want to render panoramas and also integrate positional data into them. Now I hit run and I've started the process. Right away I'm able to observe that in the output folder there is a newly created folder with panoramas already rendered from the first reel. I can check the images. In the meantime, the tool is continually rendering panoramas. Then I observe that after it finishes with one reel, it starts processing another one. I also check one of the first rendered images. I need to wait just a bit for the second reel to finish, and then I observe that when it is all done, I receive the all done message in the tool. Let's take a look at the rendered panoramas. Here you can see that the positional metadata is now integrated into the images. You can see the GPS coordinates which are indicated for each rendered image. Check the README document. There you will find a section where all these GUI options are mentioned and what they do.